a 2000 SPQR and part two of uh, King Ghidra. Thought I would uh, show you what I've been up to. Uh, the jaw took a Dremel. That really doesn't cut it, does it? Let's try something darker here. There we go. Took a Dremel and we cut right in the center all the way through the jaw. And it took out a lot of the plastic in the center. I then sanded the ends and glued the jaw back together, which made it more, uh, not, well, not as wide. I then took the forehead of one side of, of the piece here, and without cutting off the horns, I cut off his forehead and his snout and I just left the side of his face on one piece. This side I left alone because uh, that would uh, make the, the head much more smaller. I then cut this off, the whiskers here on the side and I glued them together which made the crown I don't think you can see this. Okay, we'll go to the next drawing. Took the jaw, took my Dremel, cut it in the center, all the way through, and glued the two pieces together. I then cut out the forehead and the snout, one side and glued it to the other side of the head squishing it together and then applying putty and everything else that I needed to do to fill it in which made the head smaller I then cut off the side whiskers here and I glued them together and made the crown which uh, fits on top of his head and all the residue from the cuts I kept because that's going to be uh, his hair. I also, since they were all snaked out and coiled, I took my Dremel and I cut sections off. I then took the pieces lined them up in a straight lateral line, glued them together using sprue to reinforce the center since it was hollow. I then stretched uh, plastic sprue and I lined them up right here and glued them right there for braces. I then took piece of sprue and I glued it right on the snout. And once it dried I sanded it down which made uh, his nose longer. I then took a pair of pliers and I bent the horns a little bit that's what I've been up to. And I'll show you the work. Now this is the original piece. As you can see, 
the head is way too wide. The eyes are wrong. And I had to narrow it down. These are the two heads and necks that I've been working on. And I glued uh, eyeballs into his head. closer to the nose. So we can do it that way. Like I said, the uh, plastic uh, that melted from the cuts stuff here. That's going to be his hair. take a break on uh, breaking this guy down and we'll start working on these. I'm going to paint the head and I then uh, took some paper, regular type paper, and uh, I colored it with colored pencils and I'm going to rescale him. That's going to be fun. And in the next video, you get to see the result. Hopefully it'll look okay. Uh, the motor that I'm going to use to animate him is this. What's really cool about this motor is these are the different ways you can put the, uh, what would you say, main axle. And it's got a forward axle, which I will use to make the heads move.
it's no guarantors that this is going to work but I'm going to give it a good shot if it doesn't work I'll just simply remove the motor and build it stagnant it won't ruin it if it doesn't work but I'm going to try keep modeling 